state is an enemy. It's an enemy of this country and this people. Um, and if somebody from this country or anywhere else wants to go and fight for Islamic State, they become an enemy of this country and, and, and our people. But if we don't kill them in Syria or Iraq, what happens when they try and come back to Britain? Well, uh, they, if they come back to Britain because they're British citizens, well, I think we need to take the Treason Act out of the Public Order Act, where Tony Blair put it. We need to make it fit for purpose. We need to diff have different grades of it. And some of, the, uh, some of those need to be made uh, usable for dealing with these people. If you go to fight with or support an enemy of this country, uh, a con uh, an enemy that we're at war with, then you should be subject to the Treason Act. That you can't be at the moment, it doesn't work in that way. Um, but and it, that's it because Tony Blair, what did Tony Blair Tony do? Tony Blair re reviewed the Treason Act and he moved it, he, he, he incorporated it within the Public Order Act. And it's now pretty unusable. Uh, certainly in these circumstances it's unusable. So we need to have a good review of that and we need to make it applicable. These people are traitors. Um, and that's uh, that's quite simple. And if 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 they die uh, die fighting against us, then so be it. Hello. Yes, Henry Bolton is already making mistakes. That's right. You've just watched uh, LBC Radio with Nick Ferrari interviewing Henry Bolton, the uh, new UKIP leader, regarding. Muslim fighters that leave, British Muslim fighters that leave Britain and go and fight for ISIS, say in Syria, the Middle East, wherever. Uh, that if they're not killed out there, should they try and return back to Britain, they should be tried under the Treason Act for treason and dealt with as traitors. You see, why I believe the, the wrong choice of words is this. Remember, firstly, the public are not thinkers. They're just voters. The simple people, voters. Right? They don't want to hear things like treason, treason act, traitors. It conjures up Guy Fawkes, gunpowder plot, and other um, unsavoury things in their minds. Trust me, it does. The public doesn't see things the way we do. What Mr. Bolton should have said was short and simple. We're not allowing them back into our country. End of. But instead, he complicates matters. In fact, makes it scary, if you ask me. And again, don't be looking through your eyes as the converted. I know what I'd like to do with them, but you can't say that. And the public, trust me, they do not see things the way we do, the converted. So when you start talking about treason, traces, trees and act, it complicates matters. It complicates things. They see it then as, oh, where's this going to lead? You know, uh, as I've said, Mr. Bolton should have just chose simpler words, short and simple, that they're not coming back into Britain. End of. They've left and that's the end of them. They're not coming back in. Nice and simple, short and simple, but he doesn't. He talks about trees and trees and traitors. And they're scary words, them. Like I've said, they may not be to me and you, but your average person that may be thinking of voting UK or even joining, it is because they then say to themselves, well, where's this all going to lead? It's all about the trees and what else is going to get invoked? And it scares them. Now, maybe Mr. Henry Bolton said it out of political naivety. Maybe he said it for other reasons. I don't know. We shall see because I'll be keeping me on you, Mr. Henry Bolton. Right. And any other mistakes you make, I'm going to make my videos and highlight them. But whether or not you're doing it out of political naivety or you're trying to score brownie points, um, you know, straight after becoming UKIP leader, I don't know. Uh, but it's the rhetoric and the choice of words is most certainly wrong. Okay, thank you.